Is Kenya's Supreme Court trustworthy? Despite being seen as a pill of justice, recent revelations suggest otherwise. There are claims that the court is being influenced by corrupt government officials who offer bribes. Shockingly, it is alleged that four out of the seven judges were bribed to overturn the results of the last general elections. Now, these accusations have sparked widespread concerns. Grab your popcorns. Prominent Kenyan legal figure Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi has launched a scathing attack on the Supreme Court. His criticism intensified after he was banned from representing or rather presenting cases in Kenyan courts. Now, the court accused him of consistently trying to tarnish its reputation through media campaigns. Now, despite warnings, Abdullahi persisted, leading to the ban. Despite his attempts to appeal the decision in Kenyan courts, he failed. Instead, he turned to the East African Court of Justice, where he filed a lawsuit against the Supreme Court seeking damages amounting to 200 million Kenyan shillings for being barred from appearing before it. Abdullahi's petition aims to compel Kenya's Attorney General Justin Muturi to overturn the Supreme Court's decision. In his statement, Abdullahi not only accuses the Supreme Court of being compromised, but also alleges that some of its judges regularly accept bribes, including during crucial events like general elections, where they purportedly received substantial bribes to influence the election outcomes. In the statement seen by our team, it read, Four out of the seven members of the full bench of the Supreme Court that had the presidential poll petition by Raila Odinga challenging the results of the 9th 2022 presidential elections, which pitted William Ruto against members of Kenya's two elite and most powerful political families, accepted bribes of between US dollars 1.5 to 2 million dollars each but were unable to influence the outcome of the verdict rendered on 5th September 2022 by which the Supreme Court unanimously upheld William Ruto's win. Judge A accepted a bribe that was delivered at Judge A's home in Nairobi by a very powerful politician. Judge B accepted bribes from three individuals, the son of a deceased leader, a retired governor and an influential businesswoman. Judge C took a bribe from a member of the National Intelligence Service, NIS, who subsequently left uh, employment of the said service. Judge D accepted a bribe from a member of parliament. Initially, Judge D wanted the bribe to be given to his wife, but later changed his mind. The statement read, In short, these people who paid the four judges were from the opposition side, or rather from the government. Because if you read whatever he's saying, and I say, my this bribe came from the two elite and most powerful political families. These two families wanted the Supreme Court to overturn the general elections and rule um, on, on their favor. But eventually they were not able to influence the, you know, the outcome. Now, previously, if you remember, um, Ahmed Nasir is not the first person to accuse uh, the Supreme Court of being compromised. We have seen the opposition leader, Ray Odinga, uh, saying the same. And all those other people exercising power are exercising donated power. So the judiciary is no exception. If they become rogue, we have power as the people of this country to reform them and send them home. We can lead a one million march to the judiciary to say, and they would have no choice but to go home. So the judiciary should not threaten blackmail the people of this country after they have done the message that they've done. When you do, we say we respect, but we don't agree. And we have a right as a people not to agree with bad rulings of the judiciary. Now he, Casey, Itabidi sasa tuwe na mjadala na watu ambao wanapeleka makesi kotini kuzuia maendeleo katika taifa letu la Kenya. 
itabidi tuulizane maswali. Ni kweli ama si kweli? Yes, itabidi tuulizane maswali. Haiwezekani ya kwamba Kenya maendeleo ambayo tumekuwa tukingojea miaka nyingi mipango ambayo iko katika katiba ya Kenya mipango imepitishwa katika bunge la Kenya mipango ambayo wananchi wa Kenya wamepigia kura katika manifesto ya chama wamechagua ati watu wachache wawili watatu wameenda kotini wakahongana kotini mpango hiyo ikasimamishwa barabara ikasimamishwa universal health coverage inasimamishwa mambo ya housing inasimamishwa lazima tuulizane lazima tuwe na mjadala we must ask ourselves ama namna gani yes lazima tuulizane maswali na ndio mimi nataka niseme we are a democracy we respect we will protect the independence of the judiciary Ruto went on to argue that certain judges whom he did not name were supporting corruption cartels by presiding over graft cases or issuing stay orders to delay the swift prosecution of suspects and you can see the supreme court has been under fire for a while from all parts of the political corridors we have seen the president accusing the supreme court the opposition accusing the supreme court and currently one of the biggest lawyers in the country is also accusing the supreme court of being compromised eh kwa hivyo kama wa judges wangi accept his bribe the person who would be a leader right now rather the president uh, would have been somebody who was never voted eh? Anyway, what are your thoughts? Leave your thoughts in our comment section. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's see you next time. Bye-bye.